I have been embracing my natural curls lately with the enhancement of a curling wand and you guys have definitely noticed on Instagram and so I thought I would do a tutorial for you guys here. Obviously the first thing that I like to do is wash my hair. I would know you're going to want to know all the products that I'm using so I will have all of them listed in one link in the description below for you guys. I will briefly mention I like using the Redken Curvaceous Shampoo and Conditioner because they are meant to define your curls which is a good thing with this hairstyle. I towel dried my hair so it's not dripping at all. I let it air dry just a little bit and the first product that I'm going to go in with is the Serene Scalp Thickening Treatment Spray. The reason that I started using this product is because I went to the salon and I was telling my lady that I was thinning and she said that this is a treatment specifically for thickening up right around here at the front of the hairline. And I'm not gonna lie, all of these products, they're wicked expensive. I've never in my life bought the, it's Orbe. It looks like Oribe, but there it's Orbe. I'm pretty positive. Anyway, she said to focus this down here on your hairline and I've used it for probably a month. I wouldn't say I've noticed my hair thickening up with it by any means, but I have noticed that my hair looks awesome. So the second product that I put in my hair is the Orbe Maximista Thickening Spray. Now the first one that I showed you goes directly on the roots. This one goes mid, mid shaft to roots. And I just separate my hair specifically in the areas that I want volume which is basically all over for this hairstyle. I'll separate pieces with my fingers in the back and I'll just spray it in like this very liberally and then I'll use my fingers as a comb and just rub my rub it through my scalp and rub it through my hair. You should say something about how good it smells. Oh! <laughs> okay, Bree's filming and she said, tell them how good it smells. All of their products smell so, so divine. This is the Orbe Royal Blowout. Um, I put this on my hair when it's, uh, when I'm going to straighten it, curl it, diffuse it. And you don't use a lot. This one is a very minimal product. I put it over my whole head like this and it acts as a heat protectant and just a smoother. And this is a product that I use when I'm just going to let my hair air dry. I will literally not use any of those other things. I will only use this. But for this certain hairstyle, you kind of need all these products. Um, but this is one of my favorite ones. This is the Redken Curvaceous um, curl refiner, curl refiner. This would replace any gel or mousse that you would use in your hair and it's almost like a blend of the two. I'm going to work that product into the ends of my hair first because that's where I don't want the ends to be frizzed out and then I'll come in and make sure all my little baby hairs get it in the front. If you've got baby hairs I'm going to flip my hair over and I'm going to scrunch my hair with my fingers first. I know a lot of people will use a t-shirt. They say that that helps down with the frizz. I just never have, but I've always heard that that helps break down frizz. Several years ago, I had bought myself an industrial blow dryer that was supposed to last me for my the rest of my lifetime. And Joel went and bought me this Dyson for Christmas and I was a little annoyed at first because I knew how expensive these were and I knew how expensive the one I had just bought was. And I thought, why would he buy me this? I have never used that other one another day in my life. I used the Dyson and I've loved it ever since. I've probably had this for I would say somewhere around like three years. I like the attachments because they are magnetic and I think that it does a really great job. There really is no art to blow drying your hair with a diffuser, but I will show you how I do it. The ends of my hair are mostly dry, but down here at the base is not. 
So I'm going to take my blow dryer, take the diffuser off, and I'm going to put this different attachment on. This part is very important. And before I show you the next step, I want to say if you do not have curly hair, you will do all of these steps as well. Let it get wild though, flip your head upside down and just blow dry it. What I'm going to do is hold my hair straight up off of the scalp and I'm going to dry it with hot air. And before you let go of that piece of hair, you want to put your air dry on cold or push the cold button and set it with cold air. Once you set it with the cold air, you can let go and you can see that the volume will just stay right there. That's what I'm going to do over my entire head of hair. If you have stubborn hair, getting volume, this product really is amazing. It's the Orbe Thick Dry Finishing Spray. And I'm going to show you right here. So I lift the roots and dry on all sections of my hair. So I'm just gonna grab this section that tends to get flat on me. And I'm going to spray the bottom of it. And then you apply your heat. And then when I let go, you can see that it stays. And it is not like a hairspray feel at all. When you're all the way done blow drying, you should just let your hair be and fall how it's going to want to fall. I know that everyone has a specific way they comb their hair, a specific way they round brush their hair, and a, the way they part it. Just let it be. That's the whole point of this um, style, is just to let your hair be the way it wants to be, let it fall the way it wants to fall, work with what your hair wants to do. I use Hot Tools forever and that was the only tiny, tiny curling iron that I had. So I went into town and this is the one I found. I had no idea if it was gonna work well or not. This is the Paul Mitchell Pro Tools. It has three different tops that you can use. Mm -hmm. I obviously use the smallest one and then it comes with these two other ones. This one's a large tapered and then this is just a medium sized round. We've worked really hard to get all the volume in our hair. I do not want to just pull up most of my hair and flatten down all of what we've worked on. So very carefully, I'm going to section off the bottom portion of my hair. And I'm just going to put a clip in the back that's just barely holding everything up, but that's keeping my volume lifted. This is the daunting part. <laughs> I'm going to go through and curl all the little pieces of hair on my head. If you have really curly hair, you could just do random pieces. If you don't have curly hair, you'll need to do every single piece and you'll want to take really, really tiny pieces. For me, I just want it to look as big as I possibly can get it and as full as I can get it, so I'm going to curl every piece as well. I'm going to start in the front piece and I'm going to curl away from my face and you do not have to hold for very long at all. So I just put it on, wrap it around, pull it off, and then you've got that curl. I'm going to take the next hair and I'm going to curl towards my face. Hold it for just a second. I don't really have a grip on the end. That's okay, it doesn't really matter. And then you've got this piece. The curls do not have to be perfect. On this piece of hair, I'm going to grab a little thicker of a piece and I'm going to wrap it around and there does make a difference if you hold your wand up and down, sideways, even going up and down. So I like to just change it all the way around. My wand is going to be pointing in all different directions. And that's because I want my hair curling in all different directions. So this is what the very bottom base looks like. The curls are kind of tight. It looks like things are not near as fluffy as they are, but don't worry. So I'm going to let down the other the little clip and I'm going to pull down another section and depending on how thick your hair is is how big of sections you're going to use. I only get three sections because I really have fine thin hair but it does like bulk up because it is coarse. So I'm just going to clip this part up with all the volume still left in it just like this and then I will go through and curl more pieces. I get the barrel pretty close to the root and I hold the root directly up in the air and that helps get the volume as well. And I'll just go through and do that around the whole rest of my head again. These pieces in the back, instead of folding it down and curling it in the back, I'm bringing it straight forward and curling it, pointing the wand straight towards the mirror. That way when I'm done with this piece, I, when I let it go, it's just going to come straight forward. And that way, when I'm done 
and I flip this back, it's either going to poke up forward, poke out sideways, poke directly in the back, and it isn't just going to lay down straight, which is what I want. I want all the pieces to be going wherever. Now that the only thing I have left is this one little piece in the front, I'm going to start working on these curls, pulling them back, these curls, pulling them back until I get to the front. I've never actually tried this, but because my hair just keeps wanting to fall straight down in front of my face, I'm going to curl all of these pointing down straight in front of my face. We'll see how this works out. I could regret this, but it might be a good accident. So we'll see. So this is the scary part. I have, I mean, it does not look cute like this. So this is where I just cross my fingers and hope that it works out every time. Every time I'm like, this looks like Annie. The first thing I'm going to do is just flip my head over and shake my head. Just give it a good old shake. You stick your hand in and you want to separate all these curls, especially down at the root, but I don't want to comb out any of the curls, but I do want to help separate them and maybe comb out a few. And I just go side to side because I, right now I don't have a designated part decided in my mind yet. It depends on how my hair falls. And I like to just like lift it up, kind of, I don't know, almost like I'm frizzing out the ends, but it's not the purpose, but it's okay if you do. And I just like to fluff it up with my fingers. I can tell there's like a piece right here that needs curled. After you shake the crap out of your hair, it still looks like frightening. This is frightening and I panic at this stage every time. Don't worry. So I'm going to take the Orbe Wave and Shine Spray. If you spray this close to your head, you're going to ruin your hair, you're going to look greasy, but because curly hair, dry hair tends to get really dry, there is a moisturizing component to this spray. So what I do is I start with my hair, all my hair on one side. Um, and I don't want my ends to get frizzy and that's what this helps with too. It's like a shine hairspray light hold type thing. So I'm just going to spray the ends of my hair and shake my hair around here like this. The curls, I wish that's how all my hair thick was all around my hair, but it's just all my hair over to one side. And then I'm going to flip my hair back over to this side and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Just get all the pieces in there, shake my hair a bit more. I'm even going to put it all the way to the back, give it a little spray, and that's all you want to do with that spray, and give it a good shake. And you can see it's a little fuzzy in here. <laughs> Woo! Lots of product. Okay. Um, you can see that it's starting to take shape just a little bit. I know it seems a little fuzzy, but I'm just going to use my fingers and help shape. So I want this side to be lifted, and if I see, like I'm going to take this little uh, fuzzy piece of hair right here, and I want this to look more full over here, so I'm just going to recurl that one and angle where I want it to lay. So I'm going to curl that piece and let it just fall over this way. I'll do that with several pieces if I want. I like this little piece of hair, but I want it going straight up like this. So I'm just going to leave it going right there. I have a clump of hair because this is where I part and so I've got a lot of hair on this side. I'm going to lift it up and away from my face and I'll spray it back to stay over there. This thing is feeling a little wild so I'm going to separate it and I'm going to recurl this piece just going straight up in the air because I want the top pieces to feel polished but I don't want but I don't really mind some of the fuzz, but if there's some pieces that are just like straight fuzz, I'll re, I'll refix them. And maybe I'll try and find a piece to come down by my face. And this piece is just all straight fuzz, so I'm just going to recurl this one a little bit. And I've got these baby hairs that I want me to force over this way, grabbing all the baby hairs right here. I'm going to recurl this one, but I'm not going to mess with it once I'm done curling it, just so I have several defined little pieces like that. There. That's probably all I'm going to do. I am going to 
separate that piece because it's a little wild. There. I feel like that's a pretty balanced looking after I go through and fine tune where I want the pieces, I will go through and spray it with hairspray. If it flattens or falls at all through the day, I just use my fingers and my nails to fluff it back up. And it does a really good job of that. And it will stay like this for several days. I'll put it up in a ponytail, half pony, like whatever. Thank you guys for hanging out in my bathroom. If you guys liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And then if you are interested in any of the products, I will have them listed in the one link in the description below. Ooh.